Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! A dog? When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because... I... am... about... to do it! Oh uh, well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my tramps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. You. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? What's up, sons, my man? I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attack. Are you foreshadowing? I dig it. Okay, let's go. Oh, What are you? Okay, I can't click on you. Welcome to Snowden Town! Get it? Cause they're snowed in! Ha! 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 Yeah! Hmm... What's my stats looking like? 10 out of 20. I need some items. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I'd like to buy something. Five attack. No. Could use some defense. A manly bandana. How much? I have 120G. I'll take one of these. Kinda want the manly bandana. Awesome, bro. You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbees has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost, or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Bye now.
Come again sometime. I want to wear the manly bandana. Manly bandana armor defense 7. It has seen some wear. It has abs drawn on it. Can I use it? You equipped manly bandana. Thanks, bruh. Don't want to walk to the other side of town. Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Aww. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hee hee. And that lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. I think I figured it out. No, never mind. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Interesting. Woo! Oh, I passed everything. The live Brarby. You're Luke's. Hey, Luke's. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Kafka. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. Thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now! I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. These books. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, you take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Well, monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. I start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp, swampland, and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, Humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Whoa. Bro. Whoa. Throwing shade. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Wow. Yeah, I saw that before I walked in. Maybe because I'm the English major and it irks me a little bit. I didn't talk to you. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> Hi there. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there are ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. What are you guys doing? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. 
dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. I can see why. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? I'll have a double. Rilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay. You look drunk out of your mind. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Hell, I want new drinks and uh, 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 hot guys. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slipping onto their butts. You're creepy looking. I'm not talking to you, I'm trying to talk to the flower lady. I guess the bartender's kind of... And talk to the flower lady. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It doesn't. It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Yes, yeah, kind of weird. Okay. Those dogs are part of the royal guard, the elite military guard led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Oh, you're the guy. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Go for it. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Poor baby. What? Uh, okay. What's up, bro? I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. He makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Better watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Yeah, he will. Can't eat that. Wait, there's a jukebox back here. The jukebox is broken. Crap! No tunage for me. Let's play monsters and humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Whoa! Yeah! Do it again! Yeah! You totally lived, bro! I can't talk to you. It's kind of sad. It's over here. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This 
mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Yes. It's empty. Aww. He's so funny, though. It's locked from the inside. It's locked. Well, where the crap are they? I haven't tried to call anybody. Nobody picked up. She's mad at me for running away from home. I just have to be my own person, you know? So she'll get over it. I can't see where I'm walking. Uh-oh. Human? Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having friends of friends... Ugh, I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... Friend? No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. His voice is deteriorating. Papyrus blocks the way. I'm gonna flirt with you. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date l later. I have to capture you. Wow. Beautiful. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you. So you won't fight. So let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. <laughs> oh shoot! You're blue now! Oh no, it's so heavy! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. I'm gonna keep messing you! Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Oh shoot, you gotta bounce. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. I don't know if that's good. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh shoot, it's getting faster. Eh. Papyrus stabs MTT brand Vichy cream behind the dude. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Shoot, shoot, 
Shoot! Shoot! I got too happy! Fire's done since you an anime powder behind his ear. Are you an animu fan? I can almost taste my future popularity! That's so cheating, Papyrus! <laughs> Crap! Papyrus Dab's MGT brand cute juice behind his ear. I have no idea what any of that is. Papyrus, head of the royal god! Can I go up higher? Or is that it? Slime, that sounds gross. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti tour! I gotta eat. Undyne will be really proud of me! How am I supposed to get past that? Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile! Oh my god! <laughs> that was stressful. Oh, come on, Papyrus. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. eat. Stop cackling! I gotta eat! You're killing me! You eat the unicycle. 11 HP. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Are we getting somewhere? To the root of your insecurities? Damn. Fires is rattling his bone. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? No! They won't! I love you, Pap. Oh my god, you're moving. Stop, Pap. <laughs> I can't afford to die here. Eat one half of the bicycle. Someone like you is really rare. Thank you. Oh, sh Damn. Killing me, virus. <laughs> Papyrus is considering his options. And dating might be kind of hard. It's so hard. It smells like bones. After you're captured and sent away. Shit. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. This is all I got left. Ah, who cares? Give up! Never! You can't give up on love, Papyrus. Shit. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Give up or face my special attack! Damn it. Papyrus is cackling. I don't have anything else. Eat. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. You're killing me, bro. Killing me. Oh shit. I don't have anything. I'm not gonna hate it. Oh, come on. <gasps> oh no, I'm so sorry, Mr. Snowman. <laughs> it's I'm gonna die anyway, I'll kiss that. <laughs> this is your last chance before my special attack. Just do it, Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus whispers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Behold my special attack! What? 
the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Hi, uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. <laughs> oh, it's hard! I hate it! Stop, you're killing me! <laughs> no! Oh god. Oh, really? in your boots. Therefore I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Thank you, Papyrus. Good lord, I didn't have much health left. Yo, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. <laughs> what a loser. Loser. Okay. Uh, let's be friends, Pat. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I could make an uh, allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, woman. I hereby grant you a permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. In it thing and in it through it. Sorry, Pap. <laughs> you were Christopher Walken and now I don't even know what you used to be. In it thing and in it through it. But nothing can I exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Where are you going? I need... I need stuff. Yep. Absolutely. I'm dying. <laughs>